It's a simple rock rose. Wet an area. Copper rose. Using a size 12 brush. Two little bits of white edges so that I can keep control of where the paint's going. Drop in a touch of new gamboge, which is warm. Just water. Tidy up some edges. Too wet to draw the splodges in the centre yet, so we'll just think about a little bit of background. Not going to bother with this one just in this exercise because it's the same process. A real in, which is cool, as opposed to new gamboge, which is warm. Ultramarine blue, bit of drama down here. Drop in a little bit of magenta. Do practice that first, it's coming a little bit messy. Just an indication of that one. See you at the picture. Right, little bits of shadow in between. It starts to stop moving a little bit now. Still quite fresh though. Change to cerulean blue. Right, just lift some little bits to align the lighting. Each time I'm wiping brush on a cloth to take off whatever paint I picked up. Too wet at the moment, so I need that to dry a little bit. So I'll just continue to this one while that's little drying a little bit so I can get some of these nice splodges in. Try and paint round this one so we can do it a little bit quicker for you. Clean water up to the colour. Remember you're in control. The paint will only go where it's wet. If you don't wet it, it won't go there. A bit deeper colour. Quite a large brush this, but it's got quite a good point. So number 12. Right, let's see if we can get some of these splodges in. Because remember what we said, we're in control, so this bit is dry. So that was magenta, and into it I'm going to drop Right, well I 
I could go on and fiddle when this is dry and just crisp this up a bit, but it's got the freshness that I wanted. I'll just, just try this, it might still be too damp. So very quickly, the essence of a rock. 